In this video, I will be discussing a couple of strategies for converting lines and arcs into polylines. The first method that we're going to take a look at is using the polyline edit command. So right now I have a set of lines and arcs and I want them to all be joined together. And to get to my polyline edit command, you can just simply click the modify drop down and here's the symbol right here for polyline edit. You can also type in PE for a shortcut. And the command line is going to ask me to select a polyline. Now currently I do not have any polylines, so when I click on something, the command line is going to say, hey, that's not a polyline. Would you like, it, like to turn it into one? And I can just simply press enter to say yes. Now I've got a lot of polyline edit options. The only one we really want to look at right now, though, is join. So I'll choose join either by clicking on it or typing J and enter. And the polyline edit command, when it's joining, it's only going to join those things that are actually connected endpoint to endpoint. So I want to make sure there's no gaps or overlaps in my series of lines and arcs. But that also means that I can simply window around everything and AutoCAD will ignore that circle in the middle because it realizes that it's not connected endpoint to endpoint to the other segments. So when I press enter, the command line tells me that 17 segments were added to the polyline. It stays in the polyline edit command in case I want to do something else like change the widths of the polylines, but I'm just going to press enter to exit out of that command. And as you can see, I now have a series of joined polylines. I'm going to use my explode command to break those apart to show you another method for joining those together. So as you can see, these are back to lines and arcs. So the other method that we have now that came out a few releases ago is the join command. The join command is J and enter, or you can choose this button here in the modify drop down with the two arrows pointing up against each other. And this one is even quicker than the other one. You just simply window around everything and press enter, and all of those items that were joined endpoint to endpoint are now connected together. So as you can see, that method is a little faster, but that method came out a few releases ago. If you're on a much older version of AutoCAD, you might have to go the polyline edit route. But either way, you should be able to successfully transform lines and arcs into a polyline.